In case you haven't noticed yet, everybody in crypto is obsessed by flash loans. In Telegram groups, on Twitter, in the comments on YouTube, people ask, how can I make my own flash loans? Flash loans allow you to borrow a lot of money on the blockchain, but without providing any collateral. If you combine this free money with an arbitrage strategy, you can make some real profit. Really? Can you really make some profit with flash loans? Or is it just some bullshit? Yes, you can absolutely make some profit with flash loans. And in this video, I will show you three examples of real life flash loans that actually happen on Ethereum. The profits of these flash loans range from just a few bucks to $1 million. So let's start with the first flash loan. The first flash loan happened at the beginning of January 2020 and was done by a spot contract called Arbitrage DAO. It only made $5.45 of profit, but it did prove that it was possible to make profits with flash loans. So let's see how it worked. You are probably familiar with DAI, the stable coin of MakerDAO. What you might not know is that there are two different versions of DAI token. So there is DAI, the multi-collateral stablecoin, and SAI, the single collateral stablecoin, which is the old version of DAI. Both DAI and SAI are supposed to always be equal to $1. But in January, someone spotted a temporary difference in price. SAI was abnormally more expensive than DAI. So here is what happened. First, DAI was borrowed with a flash loan on Aave. Then DAI was converted to SAI by using the migration smart contract of MakerDAO. So that will get you exactly one SAI for one DAI. Then SAI was sold against DAI on Uniswap. If you don't know Uniswap, that's a decentralized exchange for ERC20 tokens. Because there was a price mismatch between SAI and DAI, they received more DAI than the number of SAI tokens that they initially sent. Then DAI was reimbursed to the Aave flash loan and they kept the extra DAI returned by Uniswap. So that's an example of a simple flash loan, but can we make more money than just a few bucks? Yes, we can. And that's what I'm going to show you in our next flash loan example. Flash loan I'm about to show you made $716 of profits and was made by Instadap. If you don't know Instadap, that's an all-in-one tool to manage all your DeFi investment at the same place. In this flash loan, we will take advantage of a mismatch between two stable coins, DAI and USDC. Normally, both of them are supposed to always equal $1, but at one point USDC was priced higher. So in this flash loan arbitrage, first DAI was borrowed with a flash loan provided by Instadap. Then DAI was converted to USDC by using Oasis, which is a decentralized exchange of MakerDAO. At this point, the dollar value of the USDC tokens was higher than the dollar value of the DAI token provided in input. Then a new maker vault was open. A vault is how you create new DAI tokens by locking some collateral in the MakerDAO system. Then all the USDC coming from Oasis was locked in the maker vault. Then DAI was drawn from this vault. Then using this DAI, the flash loan was repaired. In the end, we are left with the maker vault. The collateral locked in the maker vault minus the debt is higher than the capital we started with which give us a profit of about 700 USD. But there was some controversy about this because the trade is actually not finished. To actually realize the profit, the team of Instadap needed to liquidate the vault and sell the USDC and hope that at that time the price of USDC would still be higher than the price of DAI, but this is not a guarantee. A real flash on arbitrage is supposed to be atomic inside a single transaction so that there is no risk. Either all the steps are executed at once or none of them is executed. $700 of profit is cool, but can we do even better than this? 
Yes, we can. The total profit of the flash loan I'm about to show you is one million dollar. Yes, you heard well, one million dollars. But that's not really a flash loan arbitrage. That's actually a flash loan hack. The people who did this took advantage of a flow in a smart contract. Yes, some of you may have guessed, I'm of course talking of the hack of the BZX protocol that happened in February 2020. There was actually two different flash loan hacks. The first one that made $350,000 and another one a few days later that made about $700,000. And I'm going to focus on the first one. The first step was to borrow a lot of ether from the flash loan of DYDX. DYDX is an advanced decentralized exchange, but for this attack, all that matters is that it provides a flash loan API. Then about half of this money was sent to Compound. Compound is a lending platform to borrow or lend Ether or ES20 tokens. The ETH that was sent to Compound was used as a collateral to borrow RAP BTC or WBTC. WBTC is an ERC20 token that tracks the value of Bitcoin. Part of the remaining ETH was sent as a collateral to the BZX protocol. BZX is a margin trading platform. It allows you to go long or short for certain crypto assets with a leverage. With the ETH collateral, a short leverage position was opened where ETH was short against RAP BTC. So this was actually a leveraged long position on RAP BTC. Behind the hood, BZX executed this trade on Kaba Swap, which itself executed this on Uniswap. As a consequence of this big leverage position on RAP BTC, the price of RAP BTC increased a lot on Uniswap. Then the RAP BTC that was borrowed from Compound was sold against ETH on Uniswap at an inflated price. With this ETH, it was more than enough to repay the flash loan on DYDX. In the end, the attacker has some surplus coming from the sale of RabbitTC on Uniswap and also coming from the unused portion of the DYDX flash loan. And who was left holding the bag? The BZX protocol, who now had an under collateralized position. What's interesting to learn from this is that a flash loan can be quite complex and a lot of the more profitable opportunities might be hidden below a lot of indirections. But you should keep in mind that what I explain to you is a hack, not a fair use of flash loan. So exercise your judgment wisely before you do something harmful. So after seeing all this profitable flash loan, you probably start to think, what about me? Can I do my own profitable flash loan arbitrage? Yes, you can. Doing your own profitable flash on arbitrage is possible, but this is not always easy. You need to be well prepared so that when an arbitrage opportunity strike, you can jump on it right away and be the first one to trade. And for that, you will need to put your hand in the code of Solidity Smart Contracts. And to learn how to do that, go register for my free training on flash loans. I'll see you there.